Hey guys, Mark here with New Bromble's Eats. Today we are at Five Stones Artisan Brewery. I'm with my good friend, Steve. Hi! And my good friend, Jason. That's me. Let's go check it out. We're here at Five Stones today with Seth Weatherly, and we have an opportunity to sit down and chat with him just to share a little of the vision, a little of the story, a little about Five Stones. So Seth, excited to be here with you today. Hey, thanks for coming out. Tell us a little bit about just really the, the birth of this place, what the vision behind it, what started it, what kind of gave you the idea, and, and how we got to where we are today. Well, in uh, like 2012, I guess, is when we formed the company and first beer on the shelf was 2013 and it just caught fire. I like to cook, I'm not like chef material or anything like that, but I enjoy creating. Yeah. And I think uh, most people do like creating. It might not be beer, might not be food, but it might be woodwork, might be metalwork, might might be building houses, might be whatever it is. I think we were created to create. Yeah. And so it ignited my fire to create. And I'm told the five stones comes from a story in the Bible of David and Goliath. Right. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more and how that kind of was your inspiration? If there is a story of David and Goliath in American business, it's what's going on in the craft beer industry. Yeah. So it's kind of a tip of the hat to those... Uh... <laughs> Sorry, there's a little FedEx ad going on behind you. It's like product <laughs> placement. Yeah. It's like roaring by, like literally right behind you. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about some of your signature beers that you brew here. So the main one is called Aloha Pina. That's what set it all off. It's a gold nail with pineapple and roasted jalapeno. Everything's done in-house. That's the one that we won the awards with. So that's a big signature, the one that drives and people get ticked when we don't have it. We only have it from like May to June. Wow. So everything we do is really seasonal. We rotate things through, but it's cool to see like you might have a favorite that's different than his favorite that's different than his favorite. It's kind of neat to see everybody's sort of take on Like I don't dig that, but I like that. So we've always said we probably brew enough beers that you're going to hate a couple of them, but we hope you love at least one. So What are you drinking right now? I am drinking the Braunfelser Colt. So this line of beers, we have four now was a tip of the hat to New Braunfels. So Seth, uh, obviously this is primarily a brewery, but I know you're looking at offering food here and you've got some really exciting plans for how to offer that. Tell us more about that. So yeah, we want the brewery to be a catalyst for other things. We're gonna get ready to launch coffee in a month or two. And part of the next chapter is food as well. And we have an in-house um, baker that uh, does German pretzels, does homemade buns, and does brats. We have a special blend of brat that, that uh, a packer does for us. It just is Five Stones brand only. We also have food trucks that come out. Uh, Wood-fired pizza this weekend, Goldstone Pizza, barbecue comes out, but we're hopefully gonna balance that out with some in-house stuff too. But it allows us to sort of tiptoe into it and do it right. This is a prosciutto arugula pizza and uh, from Wood Fire Pizza over here and it was uh, just kind of a food truck off to the side of the brewery and he was great. I asked for this special and he made it right on the spot so I'm excited to get into it. Have you created before or had before? All right, Mark, what are we drinking? What you got there? Which one did you get? I can't remember. They're all good. It's an Oktoberfest one. Nice. Beer fest. Beer cool. New Brown beer. You need beer fest. You need to have some confidence. I got the Shema beer, which is a newer one. I guess named after some Old Testament warrior who I'm unfamiliar with. I need to read my Bible. Mm, delicious. And I got a bratwurst with comes with some fresh grilled onions and some sauerkraut that I'm putting on there. So we're gonna give this a whirl. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, perfect with beer, that's so good. It's almost as though there should be some sort of festival surrounding beer and sausage <laughs> you, together. You would think, that, that's a great Someone idea. should come up with that idea. Somebody should. Why should people check out Five Stones? Well, the venue itself is phenomenal. Love the trees, love the shade, love the, just the vibe of the place. 
a lot of community, uh, people hanging out together, and you can just feel the joy. So uh, what a great place to come hang out. Plenty of room for everybody in the open air. So great place to come. You guys should come check it out.